What is going on, I've Warriors? So today I'm gonna show you a 3D model. I have not watched this 3D model. I did see like the first five to ten seconds of it because I wanted to make sure that it is in the going in the path and not trolling uh, about what happens uh, when you do intermittent fasting. So we're gonna basically watch this one together, but it is a 3D model and, and actually it's not intermittent fasting, it's one week of fasting uh, so that you can see uh, what happens uh, to your body uh, through the uh, through a, I feel like 3D models kind of really highlight the actual mechanistic uh, changes that are going on in the body and make it visual so it's easier for people to understand. So without any further ado, let's switch over uh, to take a look at that. Here we go, here's the 3D model. What happens when you don't eat for a week? Fasting, essentially. Uh, Dr. Wheels, here we go, let's watch it together. Fast. Your insulin levels drop due to a delay in your normal supply of fuel or glucose. As a result, the extra glucose stored in your fat cells is used as energy instead of being absorbed from the food and liquids you consume, ultimately leading to weight loss. As you fast, your insulin levels drop due to a delay in your normal supply of fuel or glucose. As a result, the extra glucose stored in your fat cells is used as energy instead of being absorbed from the food and liquids you consume. Okay, uh, wh what? So... As you fast, the extra glucose stored in your fat cells get the extra glucose stored in your fat cells. Okay. Um, wow. So, uh, okay. Um, this is wrong. Like, this is completely, <laughs> this is completely wrong. Uh, there isn't glucose stored in your fat cells. There's fatty acids, and it when it releases, it breaks down into uh, a triglyceride, so three, um, none of which are glucose. There's not extra glucose stored in fat cells. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe. So, basically, when you do a, a video 3D model, I even got fooled by this and i'm gonna still upload this because it's kind of crazy how they you can see how it says dr wheels you, you think this is a professional thing and, and and sure yes you lose weight with intermittent fasting one this doesn't even show the separation between what would happen if you do a fasting just an intraday fast versus a one week fast which there's dramatic differences from fasting for an entire week and just fasting 16 hours or 20 hours but not only that it doesn't even know what the essential glucose from fatty at from your fat cells from the adipocyte guys the adipocytes are enlarged because they have fatty acids in it then they shrink when they release the fatty acids send it through the blood uh, stream and it provides you with energy that's how you get energy from your fat, and that's how you lose weight. You don't actually lose the fat cell itself, and there isn't glucose in the fat cell. The fat cell stays in your body, but just shrinks. So you still have all your fat cells in your body when you're, when you're skinny, when you're lean, when you can see your abs. They're just so small because they all shrink. And them all being enlarged collectively is what makes you have that look, the body fat look, the fat, uh, the uh, subcutaneous fat, which is what you see, which is the fat that's right below the skin, right below the epidermis. But for them to be like, oh, glucose energy that's in your fat cell that comes, what? I'm flabbergasted by the blatant, like, incorrectness of this i'm flabbergasted what guys what happens in, in simple terms is you the the glycogen storage depletes because when you eat your body is smart it knows that your brain always wants glucose so it says okay just in case you're not eating for an extended period of time we'll store some glycogen um and then 
When you don't eat for an extended period of time, there's a point where it triggers usually seven or eight hours or nine hours. Everyone's different. Um, it, it's called the post absorptive range. And then your body just starts deciding uh, to break down uh, uh, to use the glycogen that is stored, which is not in the fat cell at all. It's stored in sometimes in between muscle and stuff like that. They pull through that. Once there's none of that, it doesn't go for the fat cells at all. What it does is it goes for ketones. However, ketones need fat cells to create ketones so the process of beta hydroxybutyrate takes place with the liver and it, what happens is that your fat cells are used for that that's why you kind of double up with intermittent fasting and, and lose a lot of body fat because you're not just using body fat for your calorie deficit but you're also using body fat to power ketones to give your brain that substitute for glucose but for them to say glucose is in the fat cell literally floored me I, I i'm not lying i'm still gonna post this because of the fact that this is egregious and i want to make sure that when you guys find videos like this you don't get misled because you can do a nice little computer animation 3d animation and people think that you're telling the truth but they're not uh until the next one guys thank you for watching this one with me because i wouldn't have um I don't know. I don't know if I would have if I didn't record this live. If I would have uh, put this up, but it's a good learning, a good learning tool. Don't believe every 3D model with a professional voice behind it. All right, guys. Peace out.